Hello guys, today's study is going to be about faith and works, and I'm just doing a more uh, casual, um, not so high-tech production on this one because of the uh, previous videos that we've done, um, like the uh, latest one, the Friendship Documentary, but I just wanted to share some verses with you guys about faith and works, and to really make you guys think about the true meaning of it. So we're going to go to Ephesians chapter 2, um, verses 8 through 10 to start with. And it says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and not that of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. And James chapter uh, 2 verses 17 and 18 says, Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. And James chapter 20 and verse 22, it says, Wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? So basically what this is saying is faith without works, or if we have faith in Christ, but we don't follow his commandments, we don't put the works, the effort into it, our life in Christ is dead. We have to have the faith and the works of Christ to be able to follow him. We can't say one thing and do another or profess we need to have the faith and the works. Just like the light and heat of a candle, faith and works cannot be separated. Like we just saw here, it says, But will thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? And then, of course, we have the famous faith chapter, Hebrews chapter 11, verses 1 through 3. It says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. And verse 3 says, Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So we need to have faith in Jesus and in the fact that what he says he's going to do, he will do. But we need to have the works or the life of Christ in following what he has told us to do in his commandments, in his life, in the entire time he was here on earth. We need to walk in his steps, which walking is working. James chapter 2 and verse 24 says, Ye see then how that by works a man is justified, and not by faith only. And James 2.26 says, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. So we need to have the faith and the works put together. We cannot have the faith alone doctrine by only belief. Jesus did it all for you. We can also do not want to end up in the trap of works alone. There is a balance between the two. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 21 says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. So we need to do the will of the Father. What is the will of the Father? If ye love me, keep my commandments. That is the will of the Father and the Son. Let's go to Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12. 
and 13. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. And I want to close out with one last verse. Titus chapter 3 and verse 8, and it says, This is a faithful saying, and these things I will that thou affirm constantly, that they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men. So these verses are showing us collectively the importance of both faith and works in the Christian life. And it emphasizes that while salvation is a gift of grace through faith, genuine faith is demonstrated through actions. Faith that works by love. Wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? <laughs>